angry guy here and 99.9% of men are avoiding marriage as men abandon society. Ninety nine point nine percent of men are avoiding marriage as men abandon society. This is a very serious issue, guys. It's really, really serious. And yet modern day women are basically dancing in the streets and acting like everything is hunky dory, even though they are furious about the passport kings leaving Western society. So when you look at these statistics, they are absolutely jarring and they should illustrate how insane the, the the passing away of marriage is. So in 2021, the U.S. marriage rate was only 14.9 marriages in the last year per 1,000 women, guys, per 1,000 women. All right? What this tells us is less than 99% of men are getting married. Less than nine. Right now, we're roughly at 99.9% of men who are avoiding marriage. These are ridiculous statistics. Most men today are completely avoiding marriage. Almost 100% of men are no longer getting married. If you notice, you don't hear about weddings anymore. They're very, very rare. Only among the wealthy do you hear about a wedding here and there. And even then, it's still it's beginning to become beginning to become more and more rare, where marriage is becoming a thing for the wealthy. You know, when I watch Fresh and Fit, one thing that they talk about is the fact that women today, the only thing they want is their bag. And it's absolutely true. They don't want a relationship. They don't actually want someone who's going to be there for them. They would actually rather be with a man who has lots of money and will cheat on them than be with a man who can basically provide them with the, with the things that they need and won't cheat on them. It will be a good provider and protector, but won't give them a life of luxury. They would rather go with the cheater. This is how they are. They don't care about you. They don't even like you. These women are all trying to do their own thing, build their own brand. You know, and then when and there's some of them who, you know, when they fail to do this, they want to live soft girl lives. So basically, you just bring the money to them and let them live easy lives where they are provided for, where they can go out. And, and you know, like literally these women are now saying things like, you know, they should be able to go out on any given day and just buy a brand new car for two hundred thousand dollars and not have to worry about it. And their man should be able to pay for that and it should and, and not even sweat it. When I tell you they don't like us, it's not a joke. Imagine saying something like that. I should be able to go out and purchase a Lamborghini whenever I feel like it. And my man should not say anything about it. He should not even feel it. There should be no discussion about it. Forget about the days where she should be able to go out and purchase a $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 purse whenever she wants to know. She should be able to go out and purchase a luxury vehicle whenever she feels like it. And there should be no discussion because a million dollars is not even a lot of money. This is the reality that we are living in with modern day women. They do not value money. They are putting things like bi billionaire gang in their bios right now. They are just using dating profiles to find rich men to fund their to fund their endeavors or give them soft girl lives. To make it 100% clear, they do not like you. They are just the, the average woman today is more disconnected from reality than the average female celebrity that actually had to work and grind for the things that they have. I'm not saying that a lot of these female celebrities are not disconnected from, from reality, but the average woman, the girl who works at McDonald's, is today more disconnected from reality 
than the girl who had to work every work hard to amass those millions of dollars because they don't know anything about that. They live off the simp economy. They have these celebrities who fly them out, private jets. They, guys, these women don't work for anything. They live like celebrities without having to put in celebrity work. They're not grinding. They're not doing anything. They are just literally living off their looks. They live better than a lot of female celebrities. Because while these women have to go out, they actually have to work. They have to be places. They have to perform. They have to, they have to be mindful of spending and budgeting or they're going to go broke. These other women have basically hacked the system where instead of having to put in any kind of work, they're just living off men entirely, living off their looks, flying, being flown in and flown out, being get, allowed to purchase expensive purses and gifted vehicles and all kinds of nonsense just because they exist. So when you are given everything for free, you start to believe that you are more valuable that even the celebrities on television. What did I tell you guys? There's a video where a woman says that a man should treat a woman that he's with the way he would treat his favorite female celebrity. Never forget, if you treat her like a celebrity, then she will treat you like a fan. But the average woman believes that she's a celebrity. The average woman thinks she's on The Bachelor right now. It's ridiculous. Let me tell you something. When I be complaining about food prices, and y'all motherfuckers be like, "Ain't you rich? Why you complaining about lettuce? Why you complaining about this?" That just goes to show me when you be when you become successful, when you have money, you gonna fucking you gonna go broke soon because y'all not budgeting. I get a summary of the money that's being spent in my home every week. So when I'm starting to see that like groceries is like tripling up. It's like, hey, yo, what the fuck is going on? I want to see for myself what the fuck shit is being spent on. And like when I go to the fucking supermarket, like I went to the supermarket, and I'm seeing that everything tripled up. That like lettuce was like $2 a couple of months ago, and now it's like fucking 7 Of course, I'm going to say something. The fuck? Because if I think that shit is crazy, I can only imagine what middle class people or people in the hood is motherfucking thinking. So yes, I'm going to say something. The fuck? And I have a big platform. So I do want anybody that's responsible of these fucking prices to put that shit the fuck down. They're going to see my shit. They might put it down. So, you know, guys, I don't like Cardi B's music. I think that she's, I don't, I don't completely dislike everything about her. I don't like her music. I don't like the way that she portrayed that. I don't like the message she's putting out there. I think a lot of it is disgusting, but. I agree with some of the things she's saying here. And absolutely, a lot of women today are not paying attention to anything because they don't have to. You see, she actually has to, she's built her wealth. She actually, she had to go out there and make her money. Again, I'm not praising Cardi B. She's done a lot of bad things, bad things in general, bad things to men. But modern women are more disconnected from reality than Cardi B. Think about that very, very carefully. That's just how bad it is. Cardi B, it says that her current net worth is like $80 million. I don't think her actual net worth, is, she doesn't actually have $80 million. When people say $80 million, for example, oh, this person's net worth is this much of money, a lot of the times they're taking into consideration everything. For example, how much is her music rights value? You know, she has rights to her music. What is that value that? Someone might, you know, someone might say like, well, that might be valued at like $60 million. Okay, so she doesn't actually have $60 million. No. All right. So how much does she actually have in physical cash? Maybe between 20, 10 and $20 million, maybe. It might even be as low as $5 million. So, you know, you'll, you see these celebrities, they don't have bread like that. And all of these women are out here living on the simp economy, having dudes buying them groceries. Take, that's why dudes, oh, you need to spend $800 on a meal. Like, like seriously, y'all. A lot of dudes who date celebrities, they're not taking them on expensive dates. They go and grab a cup of coffee. They go for a walk in the park. They enjoy normal and very simple things. Go to the museum. That's part of the best things. Like, guys, these dates with these modern day women, these are not dates. These are not dates. You're just buying them free food. Okay? Do you think that Chad and Tyrone are taking them on dates where you have to spend $800 for their attention? $1,000 for their attention? If she's actually, listen to me. 
if she f- actually finds you attractive and she wants to be with and she wants to, you know, hook up with you, she's not going on this crazy date. If a woman wants to hook up with you, she hooks up with you right away. If a woman wants to hook up with you, she hooks up with you right away. If she is making you wait, she is playing the game because she wants to basically weaponize physical intimacy. And if she does that in a relationship, in the courting process, she will do that 1,000 times percent, 1,000 percent more in an actual marriage. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. of men are avoiding marriage as men abandon society. What do you guys think regarding this? I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.